from Between the Barrier to Me. We are backstage at the Mayan Theater in downtown Los Angeles, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my uh, signature, signature guitars with Ibanez. Uh, the one I'm holding right now is the PWM-10. It's a, made from a select ash, uh, based on the S-series uh, guitars that I've, I've played for, for many years. This one uh, we designed with a slightly thicker body uh, than the traditional S. Um, that adds a little more sustain and uh, a little more warmth to the, to the resonance of the guitar. Hardware-wise, it's uh, equipped with the uh, Edge 02 Tremolo, which is an extremely reliable trim. We've been playing the Edge for a very long time. It's just a great tremolo. Um, this one is, uh, it has a single uh, volume knob. It controls both pickups. Um, there is no tone knob. Instead of a tone knob, we've put a, a, a mini toggle um, that acts as a, a coil tap for both pickups, so you can get sort of a, a single coil type sound, um, which we do use uh, from time to time. So that's a great feature. Uh, Three-way toggle for the pickups. Um, you know, you've got bridge down here. You've got a hybrid of the two, and then you've got, of course, the neck pickup all the way up. Uh, the pickups are my signature PW Hornet pickups made by Mojo Tone. Uh, it's a North Carolina company that I've been working with for a while. These pickups were designed really with this guitar in mind, so uh, they, they work really well uh, for any guitar, but in particular um, this guitar, they really highlight the, the attributes of the, the wood. Um, you know, ash has, a, has, an, has an interesting tonal quality and these pickups really kind of uh, complement that very well. So um, this this uh, bridge pickup is a ceramic magnet. Um, really allows us to get the articulation we need on, on the heavier high gain riffs. Um, and uh, and then there's a totally different approach with the neck pickup. This is an Alnico magnet and, and it's a much friendlier sound. We use this pickup for, for cleans and leads primarily. So it's, uh, it's warmer, takes a little bit of the edge off and together they work very well. Uh, the neck is a three-piece uh, maple babinga neck. Um, it's a, obviously a thin neck. This is the Wizard 3, I believe. And um, uh, in spite of its thinness and, and playability, it's actually a very reliable neck, especially on the road. We've made you know, very few adjustments to the neck. It's able to withstand uh, temperature changes, altitude changes, and any touring musician will tell you that that is key. You don't want to be uh, adjusting your neck every day. So uh, just a super reliable neck, intonation's great. Uh, Rosewood fingerboard, we've got the offset dot inlays, which uh, I like, they're kind of, to me it's kind of a, a classy look. It's sort of, you know, I've never really liked guitars that highlighted the inlays. I always thought that was kind of weird. So this just lets me know what fret I'm on. We got a matching finish on the headstock. And uh, this is a, a black oil finish, which I think is an interesting look. Uh, it's a you know super thin finish. You can actually still feel the wood grain, which I um, I've always loved guitars where you could see the grain of the wood. To me, that's just a classy look, and this allows you to really appreciate the beauty of ash. Um, so yeah, that's about it. This is the PWM10. Yeah.